Dit zijn de Ierse basisschoolkinderen Rachel en Jane. En dit zijn Tom en Anna. Allemaal hebben ze geen mobieltje, maar ze zouden er wel graag eentje willen hebben. Yes, because I'm sort of getting to the age where uh, most of my friends have phones. When I was younger and I was in my old school, I would ask my mom, could I have a phone? I don't have a phone, but like if I would have a phone, then I would probably text my friends. I sort of want a phone, but I can. Um, I just want to play games on it. Maar ze weten ook heel goed wat de nadelen zijn van een mobieltje. I kind of might get addicted to it a bit too much and like I might be then just glued to it all day. Watch TikTok or watch Instagram. They mostly just play games. Cyberbullying, um, watching inappropriate stuff on YouTube or TikTok. It could damage you a lot because then when you are gonna going to anywhere and if you're not careful with it you can do something that your parents might not know or so you could get bullied as well i see uh, teenagers and all that with phones and they're sitting next to their friend and they're texting each other or they're te like instead of actually talking to the, each other en daarom hebben ze hier een radicaal plan bedacht sinds deze zomer mogen basisschoolkinderen in dit deel van ierland geen mobiele telefoon meer hebben. Niet alleen op school zelf, maar ook thuis niet en in hun vrije tijd. Dat hebben de scholen en de ouders zo samen afgesproken. En dit plan is bedacht door Rachel Harper. Zij is het hoofd van de plaatselijke basisschool. We are trying to say to the kids, you know what, get outside, get playing, you know, have your play dates, do the fun stuff, be silly, you know, and trying to get them off the social media and, and off their phones and just really live in the moment, you know, and enjoy time with their family and friends. De ouders zijn in ieder geval heel blij met dit besluit. We thought it's a great idea. It's helped all the parents who were under pressure from children. Can we have it? Can we have it? Because all our peers have. So it put us in the, all in the same boat where we all as a parents can say to our children, sorry, no, at least until secondary school. To be able to say, actually, this is an agreement the parents have come to. Sort of around the town and the fact it's not just our school but it's other schools as well in the area is fantastic because it then means wherever they are out of school it's unlikely that their peers are going to have phones as well maar hoe denken de kinderen er zelf over what do you think of that plan i think it's a good idea to be honest like i actually think it's great i don't really agree with it i don't know why i just sort of like a phone i just feel like it's really good and how like it's just good and also it makes it's just nice for us like to do something as a team thing. I I understand why she did it because she's looking out for the best um uh for the best uh, for us and um I know that's a hard thing to do because sometimes kids might not like what you say. But for me, I just think it should be like no phones at all. So, yeah. yeah. That's better. Yeah, it's better without it. Maar wat doe je dan als je geen mobieltje mag hebben? Dan ga je lekker veel boeken lezen. Of je leert een nieuw recept voor een bananentaart.